Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Outdoor Enthusiast channel. So if you're like me, you've seen on social media these type of concealment flags. You've seen cabinets, flags, mirrors, lamps, what have you. And this right here is made by Santan Woodworks. All right, it's a veteran-owned, veteran family-operated company right out of the USA. So this is made in the USA. And this is their burnt large concealment flag. All right, what's special about this is it has magnetic locks. And we're gonna talk about the features once we install it. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what hardware you need to actually get it on the wall. And We'll talk about the actual features, but I'll show you just kind of a quick sneak peek. You have the small compartment right here. There's your magnetic lock. And of course, you can put whatever you want in here, firearms, valuables, whatever you want. Uh, of course, there's no replacement for a safe or anything like that, but it is hide in plain sight kind of a setup. So let's go ahead and show you guys what you'll need, and then we'll get to the install. So I laid out the tools you need to get this job done, all right? So you need a drill, bits, level, tape measure, stud finder, uh, pencil to mark up the wall and it does come with a good set of hardware as well comes with a box cutter to help cut out the uh, foam inserts to kind of fit whatever you want to put into these actual flags and it comes with six screws for the studs in the wall as well as a magnetic key to unlock the magnetic locks and a little instruction manual so let's go ahead show you guys the back and then we'll get the install going so this is the back side of the flag you'll see you have the small compartment here large compartment here and the empty compartment here. There is an option to upgrade to a third compartment if you'd like, so that is an option. Um, how this is mounted is kind of unique. Uh, if I tilt it down here, and it is very heavy, so be careful when you're maneuvering these type of flags, uh, you'll see there are three holes in top here uh, drilled at an angle, so they have the pre-drill holes, and the screws are gonna go in there and pop out right there. Of course, they're lined up perfectly for 16 inch studs, so I, what I did was I measured three, three actual uh, pencil marks up there, 16 inches apart, 10 inches down on the studs, on the three studs. You want to make sure you hit the studs with this. Obviously, it's a heavy, a very, a very heavy wooden cabinet, and you really want to make sure it's secure to the wall. So what we're going to do is, to make life easy, you do need two people to get this job done. Go ahead and you want to have someone holding the flag up, and go ahead and make your mark up top in the center hole. Start with the center hole, level it off. Once you get that stud with the screw, Go ahead to the left and the right, make sure it's level, you're good to go, and then there's three identical holes on the bottom. And then when you get those holes on the bottom done, you should be secure, and this isn't going anywhere. So let's go ahead and get that done, then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the wall, and we'll talk about some of the features. All right, there she is. So it was not that bad of an installation. Uh, the design and the craftsmanship and the thought they put into it made it really easy to work with. Uh, you can see it's just a beautiful piece of art, even if you don't put anything inside at all. But of course, one of the main reasons to get one of these cabinets is to put something cool inside. It's great for a man cave or an office or your, your gun room, gun vault, whatever you have. Uh, it's a really neat piece here. So uh, I'll show you, tell you guys some of the specs here, some of the dimensions, so you can get an idea of what this is gonna look like in your own room. Uh, the whole thing overall is 40 inches by 26 inches by only four inches wide. So it doesn't have that much of a footprint on the wall. The larger compartment is 38.5 by 10.75. The smaller compartment up there is 12.5 by 15.75. And of course you have your magnetic lock there are two magnetic locks and then you also have a 2.25 inch thick foam uh, this stuff is really dense it is not cheap foam by any means and they do give you a razor blade so if you want to put a rifle or gear or whatever you want in here decorations whatever you decide uh, you can take the go ahead and draw out what you want to put in here and then take the razor and just carve it out and it is a layered foam so you'll see how it's designed right there layers so it should be pretty easy to work with i have not decided personally what i want to put in here yet so that is a work in progress currently um, but i went ahead and uh, i did bring out a rifle and a pistol and i can show you guys kind of an idea on what this looks like with something inside so let me go ahead and show you that and then we'll talk about the locks all right so just to give you guys an idea on what this would look like kind of loaded up this is a full-size 16-inch AR with the extension of the stock all the way out extended. I'll show you guys kind of 
what it'll look like. So with it fully extended, you can see it fits an AR just fine, no problems there whatsoever. And then the Beretta up here, you can see it'll fit at least one Beretta, if not two, you can probably get in there. So what I would probably do is maybe put a pistol in here, maybe put a few mags down here, and then the same with the AR. The AR would actually move the stock down a little bit, put the AR right there, and then put a few mags right in there, or a couple of mags. So plenty of room, you can be creative as you want. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the locks a little bit. So these are pretty standard. These are safety magnetic locks. You see these all over the place, uh, especially for like child proof uh, for cabinets and things like that. But what these have are two different modes. You have an unlock mode and a lock mode right there. You can see how that works. Unlock means the latch does not work. You can close it and go ahead and open it. Uh, there's a chain on the right side of this to keep it from falling down and hitting anything if you have any decorations below it or anything like that or to slam it against the wall uh, there is also a lock mode you see how the lock pops out like so then you take your magnetic little key here notice that pretty cool so when you close it you don't really hear it latch or anything like that but it's not coming down without really prying this but you can take a key and open it with ease. And same like the bottom, like I said, this has lock and unlock. Green means lock. Go ahead, close it. Not going anywhere, take a key. There you go, just that easy. All right guys, wrapping this video up. So this comes shipped in a nice padded box. Don't worry about anything during shipment. It nice and padded and secured. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, it obviously was an easy installation. Didn't have a problem there. Uh, really nice design. I mean, they took their time in, with the craftsmanship. I really do like it. It's a nice piece of art at this point. And it's a great display piece as well for guns, knives, gear, whatever you have. Um, I did get a coupon code for you guys. 10% off anything in the store over at Santan Woodworks. I'll put the link as well as the coupon code below. The coupon code is outdoor. So go ahead and check that out. Other than that, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that button below. Head on over to Instagram. We're at, at Outdoor Enthusiast 88. We post pictures before we do the review. So if you guys can follow us there, you can kind of get a heads up on what's going on. And uh, let me know again if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next review.